piss. We're at the O2 Arena. A lot of fights come. Did you have a good summer? You're getting ready for this? Yeah, I had a great summer. I was, um, I couldn't tell you the secret, but I had a great summer. I was um, in a great location with good people and um, good team. And you, they're here now at the moment, but um, yeah, it was amazing. It was really good. And um, it was real chilled. We started in, started in July, which was a bit of a pain in the arse because we had the summer then, the summer break, so the momentum got lost then. So boxing came back in September and I wasn't, re I wasn't ready for September because I wanted to time with my family. And then October, November was the time. Now looking at it, you've got your first title fight coming up, a difficult opponent. Is this exactly what you wanted? Yeah, well the, la the last fight was uh, meant for the WBC U title and uh, we never got it. So... So moving straight up like to the WBC International, why not? I'm ready for it. And this is what I'm all about and this is where I walk hard and sacrifice. So um, yeah, I believe myself just as much as I as as a world champion would. So hundred percent, yeah. Does this you said you bit lost a bit of momentum obviously going into some of that, but it, your last time you had a fantastic performance, a big statement. Is that what you're looking to do again? You've got an opponent with a winning record, tie on the line. You wanna put that big statement, don't you? Hundred percent, one hundred percent. I'm I'm coming to do that and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm going to go out and just put on a, a great performance. I didn't see so much of the opponent, to be honest with you. Ten seconds is enough for me. Um, I'm going to go out, put a great performance on. I don't think the round, I don't think it's going to go past the fourth round. How are you feeling as a fighter? You must be, you know, getting feeling like you're getting better and better every day. You've got your new deal. You've got the television cameras. People want to see you again. They're saying, when's, that, when's Pierce out? It must be exactly what you want. Yeah, like even when I walk the streets back home, like people are hounding me and stuff like that. Like if I walk the shop, which is only literally two minutes, it'll take me 15, 20 minutes and I'm getting texts, really, I need milk, this and that. So it's more so, everyone's interested now. Do you know, everyone's interested because you can see me on BT Sport. Um, so yeah, it's, it's great, but training's going well. Training, I've been over since August, straight out my holiday. I had a week at home with the family and um, that was it then. I just came straight back to London. <laughs> I'm pretty much of a, more of a Londoner now than I am a Dubliner. So um, I'm living here, training and breeding every day. And now you, you, as you said, you're becoming a Londoner. You feel fully settled. You feel like this is your life and this is what you're going to be doing for the long term. This kind of area, training here, living here with this gym. Yeah, a million percent. Like Al, Ed and Paul, like the, the more than coaches, the family. Do you know what I mean? Like you invite me around, dinners and everything like and else like that. Like, and... I just feel home. The lads in the gym are like brothers. Everyone, we all help each other and spar and stuff like that. If someone might have a little small injury and things like that, they'll step in for you and give you a bit of, bit of work, you know. And it's great to have that kind of in the gym. And the gym is very competitive. Like we, we all want, we all want the best for each other. And we're all walking, we're all pushing. If you if you do ten rounds in the bags, we're only going to do fourteen rounds in the bags. And Al just be bleeding. Al wants to throw us out of the gym because we do too much. We always train. But um, that's just the mentality that we've got. But yeah, I can see myself sitting here. I'm settled here now at the moment, and it's all about getting the missus over when she's ready to come over. And um, for the time being, I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing, and um, yeah, just keep on winning titles and providing. Now, are you already seeing the benefits of this dedication in your in your gym work, in your ring work? Are you seeing this coming through? Yeah, I've seen her all. I visualise her all. I visualise her all. We're also looking at your gym. You know, you've got Sam Noakes, who's on this card, Dennis McCann on this card. You guys are all at very similar stages, somewhat in your career. Is that pushing each other? You say I want to be better than you. I is there a bit of rivalry that's been pushing you? Maybe that little bit extra. Yeah, they, they say they say they don't. Hundred percent. There is a hundred and twenty percent. Well, as it, it's not it's not jealousy though. It's 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 competitive of of love. Do you know what I mean? We all help each other. We all chat away to each other. We all open up to each other and stuff like that. We all say, listen, you have a look at my opponent, have a look at this and have a look at that. Let me know. So we're all getting feedback. Like it's a proper team. Like you know, it's. It's, it's it's fantastic what um what the Queens the Queensbury Oi box is um what it's bringing all the time. Do you know what I mean? Like and even you could have a like a weekend or a Sunday, which is a family time for me. I, I like chilling out with my daughter and my missus. I don't have that. So when I'm bit, when I'm away so long, I don't have that. Sometimes you fall into the dumps a little bit, but then you come like oh Monday tomorrow back on it, back on it. You're in the gym, then you got to switch on. You got eight rounds of sparring coming up. You got ten rounds of sparring. And you're working hard. So, and you, you're going in to see everyone, do you know what I mean? And then if oh, like on a Sunday, you might know someone who's might always meet up for a coffee and stuff like that. So, listen, it's it's fantastic. It's brilliant, I think. It's exactly what you need at this stage of your career. Yeah, 100%, a million percent. And to be honest with you, from the, from the past, 
I think they, I think with, with BT and, and Frank pushing me and Queensbury, I'm just, I'm just exhilarating, and that's what I need. Is this all going to allow us to see the best Pierce come November 26th? Yeah, 100 percent, 100 percent. I've been training for so long. We trained since August, um, in camp since August, um, but we've been pulling down, having down, down. Um, download weeks and stuff like that because the dates we get changed and we don't want to overtrain so it's just about being smart at the moment and then um, yeah come 26th November it's going to be incredible incredible performance how are you finding it you know with the press conference now it's a massive card there's going to be a massive build up to it that must also excite you as a young fighter saying these are the levels I want to hit I want to be the one at the top of the bill doing all of this yeah 100% like you know like, even looking around you have all like there's my name up there on, on, the, on the press over all great names so you can so it's all about so um I plan on being the main, the main event, probably by mi mid-summer back home in Dublin, and that's what we're going to be pushing for. That's one of the things I was going to ask you is, you know, <laughs> you're an Irish fighter. There's still, you're going to have one of the biggest ticket groups <laughs> in, the, in the in the ground on the, on the fight night. That must also mean a lot to you. As I said before, in many other interviews, it's not just one ever household. It's now like households, households, households. Probably ever one household, you're bringing five or six. So it, it's just going to keep the momentum with fans and ticket sales and exposure. It's just keep on. It's like a snowball. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger as it rolls. And then, um, do you know what? Like it, it costs a fortune for them to come over and I appreciate. It and that's why I give 100% in the gym. So to have a show back home in Dublin, th th they need it. They need it. And, not only does, does the fans need it, boxing needs it back home. And I, I think I'm going to be the one who's going to bring it back home and sell like, big tickets and big fights and big title fights. Is that then the goal? So you have this fight, then enjoy a Christmas break and then look into getting into some big fights in the second half, first half of next year? Yeah, so we, we'll, uh, we make, we'll concrete this down, this, this fight down, and then uh, make sure everything goes right, goes to plan. Touch what I will, uh, I reckon I will. Um, I'll have a nice little break for Christmas. Um, I'll keep on training though, but I'll, I'll train smart. I won't train hard, I'll train smart. And then come out back over here then probably after the New Year's, day after New Year's, straight back into, into training. And then we'll be back out, say, probably the end of February, early March. And then I'll probably get one more for you in, like say, July. And then after the summer then, let's, let's bring boxing back. Then one last thing as well, just because you know them so well. Sam Noakes and Dennis also in massive fights for them, biggest fights of their career, looking at the Commonwealth belts. How are they looking? You're expecting big things from them as well? Yeah, you have Dennis in the gym. Dennis is always training hard. He's a, he's a nutter, proper nutter. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a great fella. Two of us, me and him, me and our bond, is, is, it's great. We always chat to each other. He rings me whenever he wants to ring me. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, I could be busy. And he's, oh, no, no, I'll just tell you something. And like, and then with Sam, Sam's a gentleman. Sam, Sam is just, just a so easy going fella. Just rocks in, gets gets geared up, starts training, and com has great banter. He, he's a guy with plenty of banter. He is, and then um, he'll always make a smile. If you know what I mean. He's, that's that's the start of geese that he is. And everyone else in the gym has just been our brothers. It's 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 great. But those two, they've got two big um, two big fights coming up, Commonwealth titles and. It, like the way I've been talking to Sam earlier on, and the way he's been, what he's been saying about what way he wants to go, it's really, really good. And I wish him nothing but the best. And he's going to work hard for it, and I believe he will. Then lastly, you said you're going to think that your fight's not going to last long. But what's then your official prediction for your fight? It's going to be gone between the fourth round. I'll, I'll, I'll knock him out. Um, I'm not going to rush it. I'll take my time. And if it doesn't go past four, we'll keep on chipping away until he does. But um, we've got ten rounds, so I've got to be. Got to be smart here and um, and pace yourself because my la all all the rest of my last fights we all been by KO, which is people are saying, oh, has he got has he got the engine to go to ten rounds? Has he got this? Has he got that? I've got it all. I've got it all, but it's just a matter of time to show it. Well, we can't wait for the end of November. We've got a press conference about to start soon, so enjoy it, and we'll see you very soon. I win indeed. Thanks, Louis. <laughs>